Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, in the in my last video, I went over the Avada theme in general and uh, basics on what kind of layouts uh, are available to you if you're using the Avada theme. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly install a sample layout that is available to you. And we'll just install one. And then in the future videos, uh, we'll just go about creating new content and editing uh, the stuff that's on the sample import. And that'll show you how to, you can build websites professionally uh, using the Avada theme. So what I will do is go back to my WordPress installation right here and go to my dashboard. I will just close the links that I don't need. So here I am on my dashboard and I've installed the Avada theme in my earlier video, set up the registration, install the uh, plugins like Fusion Core and Fusion Builder. And then uh, also, no, that's pretty much all I did. And now I want to show you how to update uh, how to import a sample content so I will hover over this Avada option right here and go uh, over to demos which is the fourth option now this is subject to change and theme fusion can decide to put this somewhere else uh, going forward so again in the welcome tab there is also a tab there that quick pause I hope you're enjoying my videos about professional web design using the Avada theme. Actually, these videos are a part of a very detailed video course that I created for Udemy. So if you would like to explore these topics in more detail and ask questions, check out my course on Udemy. The link with the discount coupon is in the description of the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do that because a lot more content is coming your way. Let's get back to the video that you can see. So all the imports in 622 that I was uh, talking about like that are available from within the WordPress install as well. From I can see all this in my um, install. So here uh, I like the takeout import uh, sample import. So I, we will just go ahead and import it and you'll see how easy that is. So I'll just click on the import button. It says Fusion Core and Fusion Builder are active, but you need a WooCommerce plugin and a Contact Form 7 plugin also installed to do this. And you can select what kind of content you want to import. So I want to import all, but before that, I also want to install the Contact Form 7. Now it is active and WooCommerce. So basically each layout will support different type of plugins and you have total control and you can install the plugins that you need from here. That is the bottom line. It might be slightly different. Maybe tomorrow they'll come out with a new type of layout and you will just select the uh, plugins that you need and the contents that you want to import. So once you are done with that, you simply click on import. Uh, you get the warning that you need the minimals for WordPress and if you're using a quality hosting then you should have that by default. Just say okay and it'll start importing your demo content. Now this is a very smooth process. Uh, a lot of themes um, that do this, uh, they don't have this process very smooth and you run into issues with the sample content and trying to uh, make your website look like there's demo but it's very nice in Avada. So you can go from my side to this side in a matter of a few seconds, like I just showed you the process. And now if you go to my website, there you go. So I have already built a site and everything is in there. So uh, the content is in there, pictures are in there, and I can just start modifying the content right there without having to uh, do a lot of things. Now, I understand that this is an e-commerce site, but uh, if even if we don't need e-commerce, we can always disable it. If we like the layout in general, we can work with it. So here I'll show you one more time how to remove it. Uh, so if you want to remove a demo content, what you want to do is go back to it and 
here I want to modify it because I have it installed. I can say remove content and say remove. So once I remove it and look at my site again, okay so now looks like all my content is gone so if i look back now you can see my default website is back and now if i want to install again let's say i want avada fitness this time so i will just import that one and it also requires uh, this might not be the best option because it's an e-commerce again but let's say avada author uh, I want to do that. Uh, I want to look at it first. So I will click on the preview button and the author looks like that. So it has a slider and okay. So this is a nice uh, layout that I can go with. Uh, also, I want to see if this is a single. Okay, this is a multi-page setup so this is a nice one we can just go with that just say import right here it needs contact form 7 so I will just go ahead and install that it needs slider revolution so we will just install slider revolution okay so slider revolution is active I'll just choose to import all the content and click on the import button. Okay, so it's done and we'll click on done. And now if I go to my uh, website and refresh it, you can see from this simple uh, empty page, I will have a whole website built. So I have these pages, these sliders, everything like the demo content with a click of a button in a few seconds. Now, uh, in the next video, we'll, it will be very important as we go over the page layout and we'll start modifying content on the home page. And we'll also uh, discuss the basics on how to do it with Fusion Builder Live. And in future videos, we'll go over how to uh, create pages from scratch and duplicate the existing ones. So stay tuned and keep watching.